What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. When I first started to film and drive RC trucks, the results weren't that great, like the footage you see here. It was shaky, it was unstable, it was unpleasant to watch. And I wanna show you some tricks that I've used to really improve and smooth out the footage and create the low angle cinematic shots that you see here, all while leaving both hands free to drive the truck. So if you're interested in finding out more, stick around, it's coming right up. So for me starting out a YouTube channel focusing on small scale rock crawling vehicles, one of the biggest mysteries for me was how do people film these things effectively and drive at the same time. I didn't want to do static shots where I just place the camera on a tripod. Um, it doesn't really achieve the sort of look in the video that I'm going for and it's a lot of work moving the tripod all the time. Driving one handed was just completely off the table. That pretty much meant mounting whatever I was filming on onto the transmitter itself. But I didn't want just a boring waist height shot. I wanted to get the camera as low to the ground, nice and close to the vehicle and really make the shots as engaging as possible. Two of the most important pieces of equipment that have allowed me to do that is this flexible gorilla pod thing and a cheap selfie stick from Amazon. And I'll leave links in the description for both of those items. So the first thing we need to do is get this gorilla pod attached to the transmitter itself. We'll be using the FMS power wagon as an example today. You can see that I've modified the transmitter with a piece of an old SCX24 transmitter that went bad. I just hacksawed it off and stuck it on there with electrical tape. You don't need to do that. Duct tape, cable ties, elastic bands, any way you can get this gorilla pod securely attached on there will get the job done. I've got the Gorilla Pod mounted with two elastic bands, one at the front, one at the back, and that thing is super secure, it's not going anywhere, and it gives us a secure attachment for our selfie stick, and the angle of it is adjustable with the ball head. With the selfie stick installed, you've got a secure attachment for the camera of your choice. You need to figure out what camera you're going to use. If you've got a smartphone with image stabilization, that would be an excellent choice. Another good choice would be a GoPro or similar that has image stabilization. I didn't have access to either of those, but I did have this Olympus mirrorless camera. It takes great footage and I'm really pleased with the results I'm getting out of it. I made an inexpensive um, aluminium frame out of parts that I got from Home Depot. There's a quarter 20 thread in the top so I can hang it from the camera rig. I've left extra material in case I want to add lights and microphones in the future. So this is a clip of me actually filming the next clip with the camera rig. It does take a little bit of practice to keep the truck in frame with this setup. You do need to be mindful and smooth with your movements and try to keep the camera movements as fluid as possible. But with a little bit of practice, it's actually a lot easier than I expected and you can really achieve some fantastic smooth shots just like this. If you've tried to master driving with one hand to leave the other hand free to film and it just hasn't been working out for you, hopefully this video has given you guys some ideas on how you can improve your own running footage and make your life a lot easier when you're out there on the rocks trying to film your RC action. If you got any value out of today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.